We'll be back before we left we are trying to restrict users from entering many decimal points in here. So what we need to do we need to create a condition that if if label one dot text uh, that contains if the label already contains uh, this string here this decimal point uh, what should be done is we just return we don't we, we don't include another decimal point uh, that's all we need to do we shall test that later and uh, the next step is uh, the signs the uh, they are called the operators what should be done when an operator is clicked first of all we should pick whatever is in uh, uh, label one and put it somewhere so let's uh, declare a variable here up here we shall declare our first variable which is uh, a string it's called string first number so the moment I click uh, a sign my division sign then um, whatever is in uh, the label label one dot text should be sent to uh, the string that I've just declared there so str first number is equal to uh, whatever is number one dot text we shall test that again later again I uh, want to do what we did up here we declare a button which is a uh, uh, button uh, it's a button operators is equal to button sender we shall also declare another variable up here which will keep the sign we've clicked if you click a plus then that variable should equal to a plus it will be a string still a string str operator terminate that so str operator should equal to uh, button operator dot text So if I click uh, a plus, then operator should uh, the sign operator should be equal to plus. What I need to do then is to have uh, the click event of uh, division applied to all these other buttons here. I'll do that off the camera. So that has been done. Now our next task is the equal sign. What should be done when equal sign is clicked? All we do is to check which um, uh, sign is in uh, uh, operator. So if uh, string signs was it uh, if string operator is a plus. a plus then carry out uh, an addition uh, let's declare another variable right here a decimal answer let's call it DC answer so 
so if it's a plus then uh, answer DC answer should equal to uh, whatever is in uh, string first number add it to uh, whatever is in label one dot text however this is a decimal and this is a string and this is a, a string we need to convert this to uh, decimal as well before carrying out the operation so convert to a decimal I'll pull this one down I convert this as well convert dot to decimal and then terminate this and now there are for label one dot text should equal to DC answer uh, but because uh, DC answer is uh, a decimal we need to convert it to a string uh, because uh, labels take on strings not uh, any other data type so why that's why we are converting this to a string let's go and test our calculator now and see how it behaves So here we are we want to add a 9 and a 2. Okay, now we have a small problem in that uh, when we click uh, when we click a plus the 2 remains. Show that to you again. When we uh, compare our calculator with the one of Windows when you click 1 now rather 9 and you click a plus then when you click a 2 the 9 should disappear but with ours when you click a 9 a plus the 2 also uh, still appears that's our small problem we need to sort out right now and uh, so what we'll do we'll declare another variable 